Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am really nervous but excited. I'm going to be jumping into a couple of reasons why I am really nervous for today's video in a little bit. But I am really excited because this is just something new that I've never done before and have wanted to do for a while. I just always wanted super white teeth as I'm sure many people do. I feel like I've just tried about everything in the book that you can do at home to teeth whiten. I've tried whitening pens, whitening strips, multiple brands. I've stayed consistent with multiple methods, teeth whitening toothpaste, whitening mouthwash. I tried the LED lights for in your mouth and nothing has ever really seemed to work for me. So I have my appointment tomorrow to get my teeth whitened and I am filming a day in advance because I wanted to share some stories with you guys of some bad experiences I've had as a kid and just like my whole like journey with growing up and everything that has to do with my teeth. So um, yeah, I know it's a bit childish to say like, oh, I'm scared of the dentist, but I have just been traumatized so many times. So I want to interrupt this video to quickly mention that this is only a part one and there is going to be a part two coming of the actual vlog and me talking about my overall experience. This video was supposed to be like an all-in-one. I was going to tell you guys story time and my history about my teeth and then show you guys the vlog and then the before and after and then like that be one video in itself but the whitening didn't really go as planned you guys will see what i'm talking about in part two when that is uploaded so you'll have to stay tuned for that but this video is just strictly like telling you guys about like my teeth history some story times and bad experiences that i had as a child and then part two will be the actual whitening experience so yeah i'm really really scared of the dentist to this day i know i'm 18 years old i don't really get wigged out about anything else like doctors or anything it's just anything to do with my teeth so when I was little I went for a regular cleaning every six months or however often you're supposed to obviously I don't remember an exact timeline because I was quite young but I got my teeth cleaned regularly and I was always persistent with going I always kept up with my teeth as much as I could as a kid so my dentist noticed that I was starting to develop just some minor cavities around the backs of my teeth but he was you know monitoring it and just trying to keep up with it but it did eventually get out of his control there was one time where he also tried to fill it but it was just way too painful for me he wasn't a pediatric dentist which is like you know more specialized for kids he was just a regular dentist so he just wasn't being gentle enough for how young i was so we went around to a couple of different places around our area and this is where the trauma starts um there's this one that really sticks out in my head we did go to like four or five um just because of like how bad they were but um this one really stands out so we walk in this place and they have me like lay on a surfboard like yes a legitimate surfboard like i'm sure it was like a bed to look like a surfboard to be like kid friendly or whatever but like it i'm walking to this place and i'm like five years old and i'm looking at a surfboard and i'm seeing that they're needing to strap me to it and i'm like okay so i like lean up against it and they literally take buckles from my chest area my waist and around my thighs they didn't need any around like my ankles but like they acted like i was some crazy patient that you know was gonna like break loose and freaking kill them after about two or three people get done strapping me legitimately strapping me on this surfboard um the dentist proceeds to you know try and work on my teeth and fill in my cavities in the back and while they're doing this they have me put on like a facial mask and like a gas mask um it wasn't like a mask that they put on knock you out and then like start working on your teeth like this mask i was awake the whole time and they kept it on me so they would literally only lift it up to work on my teeth and then put it back down keep in mind you guys i was stuffy as a kid a lot because i would always get dry noses that's why i always had bloody noses as a kid and you know whatever you guys get it it feels terrible enough to have a stuffy nose but there's like some that block up both of your nostrils and that's what this one was so basically the only thing i could breathe out of was my mouth and that's like where he was working like i can only breathe out of my mouth and like he's you know freaking oh my god it was very very difficult to breathe when i tell you guys i felt like i turned purple in the face like i legitimately could not breathe and that's not even me over exaggerating literally plug your nose and try and breathe out of your mouth and then just picture like you know tools and like drills and everything being in there while you're trying to you know bring in your only source of air so my dad was in the room and i kept saying i cannot breathe i can't breathe like i was like had this thing on my face i had a stuffy nose and like the doctor kept saying she could breathe through her nose she could breathe she could breathe i actually can't and the fact that this like dentist person had like the audacity to like 
you know, giggle and make a joke out of it. Like, oh, she can breathe. Like, like, are you kidding me? I'm sitting here saying I can't breathe and you're over here making a joke laughing. It's like a terrible feeling when you like can't breathe or when you feel like you're not getting enough oxygen. And to have like people working in your mouth on top of that, like, it's like, ugh, I really feel like if he didn't finish in time, I literally would have died. Like, I was getting this much air intake and like I couldn't take it for any longer and like I couldn't even like lift up you know my mask because my hands were strapped and it was so bad I literally feel like I was being tortured like it was terrible you guys like so bad so my fear of dentists now aren't because I think they're going to strap me to a surfboard and you know cut off all my air circulation but it's just because I never know like what they're going to be doing in my mouth and I just want to be able to know that I I'm gonna be able to, you know, 100% breathe, and if I say I can't breathe, that they're gonna, you know, believe me and take off or stop whatever they're doing, and I feel like it was the not being able to breathe on top of them, like, you know, making jokes, not them, my dad, like, was sitting there, like, oh, it's okay, like, he felt so bad, and, you know, I'm so glad that my dad was like, you know, yo, we'll go get them filled somewhere else at a different time, like, you know, whatever, um, because I feel like I at least would have passed out if he continued because it was just so bad. So after that, we ended up going to a couple more places and then we found this one final one that we trusted and that was, you know, good. And if I told them that I needed something or something was hurting, they would stop and, you know, accommodate me as a patient. Um, so we went to a surgery center to get silver caps on. If you guys didn't know, I have four silver caps on the second to back teeth on the tops and the bottom. If you guys haven't seen them, here they are. Uh, you can see them sometimes when I like smile or laugh or even just talk. And the dentist would always refer to my teeth as like soft, meaning I have like weakened enamel, which is why my teeth are so, so sensitive. Not only does weakened enamel make my teeth super sensitive, but it does make it easier for bacteria and acid to build up, which can cause cavity and decaying on the teeth. So I did develop a good amount of cavities when I was younger and it was not from eating bad or having like candies and stuff that I wasn't supposed to or not brush my teeth. It was from having such bad enamel. So I went under general anesthesia and I was nine by this point, so um, they started to, you know, fill in the cavities and put on these silver caps. So they told me that these caps can last anywhere from five to 20 years, depending on how well you take care of them. And I am currently on year 10 with mine, so I just keep up with my teeth, but I'll get into why they're, you know, stained and the color that they are, even though I brush and do all the stuff that I'm supposed to do. They can change the caps from silver to white, but I'm gonna do that in the future because there's no reason to change them now just for cosmetic reasons you know like they haven't erupted or gone bad so if these caps are gonna hold up till you know i'm 25 so be it so i went to the dentist that decided to do my caps for a regular cleaning and i discovered that i have a crossbite which is also genetics because my mom had them so i had to get a palate extender to fix that you guys i have had quite a bit done to my teeth um if you don't know what a palate extender is it's basically like a metal bar that helps like bring your teeth more out if you know what i'm saying like from being ca not caved in but like a little bit curved like just not straight so my palate extender had like a metal ring and it got like pushed up on a tooth so just like picture this being the tooth you had to like have this metal bar like go in like that and like kind of push up and for me those teeth were my caps and having caps put on not even a couple years ago then you're going to shove like a metal thing around it to like it just like wasn't good and I had a bar across the top and that bar actually cut my tongue still to this day I have like a split in my tongue because of like the area that I kept pressing down on every time I would close my mouth or eat it was just really irritating I had that palate extender on for not even a year and I had that cemented in my mouth so every month they would just you know extend it so it could push my teeth farther and farther to however you know far they needed it and um, like I said, yeah, that was taken off in less than a year. It was just like really annoying and I'll show you guys the cut right now. I'm gonna give a warning for anybody who is like, you know, grossed out easily, but I'm gonna show you guys the split in my tongue because I still have it to this day. After that was taken out, I then a couple years down the road got braces, which you guys have seen that journey. I shared that with you guys. I had my braces on for like two and a half years. Nothing really bad or traumatizing happened, just like you know wasn't comfortable which it's not supposed to be so you know that was whatever to get my teeth straightened um it was worth it because my two front teeth used to be very very crooked if you guys watched my first video you can definitely see it okay my teeth are literally like this like they're just not aligned and 
the two front teeth straightened out like a day with having my braces so it straightened out almost immediately after i got my braces taken off i then had my wisdom teeth which were impacted so i had to get those removed which i shared in a video with you guys as well and um those were overall not bad um you know the most traumatizing thing was that like whole surfboard thing and then actually just a couple days ago i had more fillings done with the teeth in the very back behind my caps um the insides or like tops of them were very stained like black almost and that was mostly for cosmetic reasons because it literally looked like there was either food stuck in there 24 7 or like i didn't brush even though you know i would scrub them um but it could have also developed into a cavity over time so they like you know removed it and filled it but yeah i just wanted to like give you guys a little bit of a history because i thought you'd enjoy my you know childhood story times about my teeth like i mentioned earlier in the video i was planning on doing this all in one video so i didn't really make an outro at the time because i thought i was gonna have vlogs and a lot more to put after this footage but i'm gonna have to make my own outro for this video to cap up part one so we can get on to part two in the next video so that was it for this video if you guys liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below if you've had any really really bad experiences with your teeth or at the dentist or anything of the sort subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on all my post notifications so you get a notification in a dropbox every time i upload a video and yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to stay tuned for part two that will be coming very soon and i love you all so so much and bye guys